on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, first, some background. It's Izuku's 14th birthday in which Inko is... Doesn't really know what to get him, you could say. I mean, he has almost everything All Might related. But, then she... It's like... Uh, I still don't know what else to get him. It, I mean... Everything he has is All Might, and I don't want to give him the same thing again. It makes no sense. It's not, especially if it's not a collector's item. Huh? You have a son? Yeah. How old is he? Fourteen. Get him a video game. What? Oh yeah. Heck. Kids his age would uh, enjoy them, right? W what? Of course. I. Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, does he have any at home? No. Well. Here, uh, get him this game system and this hmm, RPG. A what? RPG. It's kind of like role playing. Inko, Paul, here and that. That's perfect. He wants to be a hero. He can try to be one. Then, wait, wouldn't that make him feel worse considering he doesn't have a quirk? He doesn't? Oh dear. But he wants to be a hero. Well, when it comes to RPGs, you can be whoever you want. Since this one isn't an MMO RPG, you don't have to worry about him being teased or anything online. So, you sure this is gonna... I have no idea. Some kids like one thing, other kids like another. Point in time will tell. So upon Izuku returning home after just going for a nice little walk, Inko, she's like, happy birthday, showing him the console and the game. Izuku, you got me a game and console? Of course. You, you didn't have to. Oh, it was your birthday. Why not? And this game is supposedly a, um, what's it, uh, RPG, uh, role play playing, you know what it is, it, I hear kids talking about it at school, but I've never, I know, well, you can try it. It for yourself and see if you like it. If you do, you can keep it and whatnot. If you don't, I can always return it and try to find you something else. Thanks, Mom. Him giving her a hug and taking his new console and g game into his room. <sighs> okay. Let's try this. As soon as he starts playing, he starts getting more into it. To the point where it's hours afterwards. It's let's say if he got it at two o'clock right now it's let's say it's eight. He's not that much of a gamer to begin with, but here he's actually got more into it. But then he dies before he was playing his save but then he died but he forgot to save his game 
So he has to start all over, but he got so much of the game. He knows what happened. He knows what this did, what that did. So when he starts all back over, he's like, okay, let's do this. And there, he sees bright lights flashing in his eyes. He feels himself getting weird as he is sucked into said game. It's a typical me evil game. Think of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Or Elder Scrolls esque environment. And the next thing he sees is character creation. And he's like, wait, where's my controller? As he looks it's like, wait, what's this him pointing and uh, options? Wait, no, that's him starting to freak out. Him starting to like, wait, no, no, this. Wait, am I sleeping? Am I him pinching himself like, ow, and get sent straight back? Uh, uh, what? Did I just? Wait. Wait. Am I? Yeah, I'm here. But wait, what? Wasn't I just? Didn't I? <sighs> That's weird. As yeah, this is when he's pretty much he sees the, the character creation. But then he tries again. He focuses, and again he's back in the game, still in character creation. Him just seeing this mirror around him, right in front of him, as he just clicks on something, he changes something and is okay, I put my strength here, my defense, speed, vitality, there. The thing is, as soon as he clicks accept, and yes, he he uses his regular old name, Zukundoria, this is when he feels instantly stronger, faster, all of that. Him's no way. He's trying to calm down because he wants to see how far this actually goes. He's never done this before. He never uh, knew he could do this. So this is going to be a whole new experience for him in all. So leave it like that. As he starts going about the world, fighting things, he knows it's not real. He, know, he knows there are no real consequences, but he does still play the cautious gamer. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. And I'm so hungry. I doubt I could really... Or could I? Him pinching himself again is like... <laughs> I actually feel that the landscape and what now nah, I can actually see like my normal no way as yeah he goes into the nearest bar in which he tries the cheapest thing they can make it something that if this does actually end up having him taste something it uh, is something that he would actually be able to finish or eat. So, a sweet roll. He eats it, and it's... It's actually here. I can feel it, I can eat it, I can smell it, I can... It's amazing. Him ordering more of them. Him being completely... In a totally, uh... Lethargic afterwards. Then he gets a room. He leaps on the bed, feeling it is a. Uh, it's not very comfortable, but given the era and time frame, you, what, what could you expect? This is a whole new experience for him, but he gets completely and totally, for lack of a better word, absorbed into the game 
Heck, he's in the zone, technically, but this is a whole new meaning to it. So much so that, yeah, but as soon as he wakes up, he's like, oh, wait, what time is it? He's like, uh, wait, I'm, he turns his head, sees that he's back in his room. Oh, oh that was weird. <coughs> huh? Excuse me, but why do I, why does my breast smell like sweet, oh, sweet rolls? Wait, did I? Could I? As he looks at the clock and technically he's only been all, been there for at least two, three hours. But for him it was like days, especially with the whole uh, being able to change the time of day and skip days in advance. Seriously, do you know how much work I would miss? If I could do that, do you know how quickly it will be Christmas? Dang, I would miss so much of my life. That would have sucked eventually. Well, upon this discovery, he's thinking, I don't want to judge the conclusions, but I think I do have a quirk. It makes sense why... I I didn't know about it. I mean, ever since me being diagnosed quirkless and caught on not wanting to spend time with me anymore, I haven't really been able to socialize. And him starting to cheer up, but he gets actually a bit mad as he punches the wall and his fist goes through it. Inko running in saying, "What? What happened? Are you?" Izuku? Why did you? Uh, uh. Wait, how did you? I. Uh. No, I'm serious. That's not drywall. That is concrete. How did you? I. Him thinking it was just like. Do I tell her? Should I tell her? It's like. You have a quirk! Huh. I guess I didn't have to. Her hugging him, saying how happy she is. But he's like, yeah, I got a quirk, but it's not this. What? Like, but you just, I, I know, but, uh, uh, I'm trying to explain it, but. I, I can go into, I went into the video game and started doing my stats and whatnot. Oh, he's, that's, that's ridiculous, you can't just, as, yeah, he was like, watch. Because then, as soon as he starts playing the game, he gets more into the zone, he gets into it and everything, just like before, and gets sucked right back into it. Literally. In front of Inko, her watching as the controller has no one messing with it, the chair has no one in it, and it's still playing itself. While Izuku is waving at his mom, like, hi mom. Yeah, her reaction is utter shock and wondering, wait, what the hell? This... Her kind of regretting, but also happy that she decided to get this for his birthday. One hand, she made so her son can be a hero, but on the other hand, she she doesn't know the real limit, limits of his quirk. Like, if he dies in there, does he just get out, or does he uh, come back, or does he restart the whole thing? Could he die, die? These are some good ass questions here. So yeah, she's panicking while Izuku is pretty much going in dungeons, killing and fighting her. Just 
okay, it's just a game. It's just a game that your son is literally doing this. <sighs> yeah, she's terrified. Because not only does each fight make Izuku stronger, if anything, if you survive a difficult dungeon and whatnot, your confidence goes up higher. So next time he goes for a nap, yeah, it's been another hour at least, and he goes, pop, seeing him pop back out, is like, okay. So, this is your quirk. Um, we have to get registered. Yeah, but with a quirk like this, I think it's a little bit overpowered. What do you mean? Like, uh, this, as he just brings up his storage. Is that. Right? What, what? Like, what? You can't see it? No. Him trying to focus it on a little bit more. She sees faint little instances of it. What is that? It's my story, my inventory, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't know video games these days. I, I don't. I. Oh, right. Sorry, Mom. But yeah, watch him just reaching into it. He takes out a healing potion, then stamina, then mana. He's. Uh, but the kicker is when he starts pulling out gold, silver, copper. Not only the coins, but the ore itself. Inko looking at this is. So are you saying. Not only do you, your skills and abilities from the game you're in carry over to your, the real world, as long as it's you that's really doing it, you can, you can take items out of it too? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's... Not, um, concerning. Huh. That's actually quite impressive. Yeah, we're going to have to get this registered. As soon as it goes to the court doctor, it's not the same one, but the one that do see, see them, like, you can do what? He can actually... Go into a, a game and uh, take things out of it as well as keep the skills that he's accumulated. No, 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 no that, 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 that can't be. That, that shouldn't be. I, I, you, you gotta be pulling my leg here, Miss um, Midoriya. Please tell me you're kidding. There's no way someone has a quirk like that. Should we show him? Show me what? As yes, Izuku takes off his backpack because he felt like this was going to happen. He, he upload, he just picks up his console, sets it up, and. <sighs> you ready? Ready for what? As again, he's in the zone. He's ready. He's getting sucked back into the game. This is. This poor doctor has a heart attack wondering what the hell just happened. But he goes like, I know. It, that's how I felt the first time he did that in front of me. <laughs> You'll get used to it. The hell I will. I ain't I, I, what y'all know. No, no, this, this quirk. Do you know what this means? What? They they were like this um um uh, there there are these games where uh, when it comes to immersion I'm sorry 
uh, they they have these mods and whatnot, and there's also these games where you can actually uh, revive people, and uh, there are these potions, magic, technology we haven't even discovered or think are completely nonsense. If your son goes into those games, chances are he can take that stuff and bring it back with him. Oh, you mean like my storage? My inventory, my character stats, and he was like, a bag of gold coins. <laughs> Just clatters. Listen. I... We will register this quirk, but don't let anybody know exactly what it does. Alright? What? If anyone learns about this quirk, it could be catastrophic. I, I mean catastrophic. You could be banned from buying any game, let alone games in which you got items like this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You see, it's a quirk like this. Tip the scales when it comes to power and whatnot. I mean, could you imagine if you became a villain? Uh, why would I want that? I'm not saying that you would. I'm not saying that. It's just that it's a possibility here. Well, I have faith in my son. You go just patting him on the bags. <sighs> right. Of course. But, nonetheless, a quirk like yours is very powerful, very dangerous, and must not be fully known of his capabilities. So, if anything. <sighs> You have strength and whatnot, you know, your stats, correct? Yes. And your item bag, or whatever it's called. It just shows up as a menu for you, correct? Yes. Okay, okay. And do you have any other skills and whatnot? Um, well, I, I recently got into carpentry and... Landscaping, as well as cooking, and so on. Okay, okay, so. Yes, let them know about at least those abilities. Don't let them know about the items you can take with you or the technology. Like, say, if anything, you or possibly someone you know built them or helped you make them or, you know. If anything, I would like to avoid a panic. Okay, next thing, uh, what, what should we name your quirk? Huh, I never really thought about it, that. Mm. You said something about immersion, right? Can you explain it to me? It's pretty much to get people more into the game, more absorbed into it and whatnot. That's it. Full immersion. Heck, I think that, you know, explains enough about my quirk. I won't be exactly lying and whatnot. See? All right. Good. That's a, that's a good. That's smart. Remember. Only people that you can trust with your very life should know about this quirk. Okay. As yes, uh, Izuku packs up his stuff and Ingo is pretty much. Please don't tell anyone about this. Are you kidding? Why? Why would I? No one's gonna believe me.
But if anything, yes, I I will try my best to not spill any beans. Wouldn't want you to, you know, receive any trouble. Thank you. As, yeah, Izuku, he's... Okay. Now that's done, I guess I'll go back to playing my game. What? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I have some missions I want to continue on doing. But, no, no, you, right now you're taking a break from that death machine. Is it, uh, what? But, Izuko, don't you think you're strong enough? Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. What? I got, I have to distribute my uh, skill points and status points. What? As yes, he just brings up his menu and starts filling with it. His Inko notices this light that starts shining green, blue, red, all the light again. Izuku is starting to show some slight changes. One, he's gotten taller, he's gotten a little bit buffer, as well as uh, he seems a little bit more charismatic. Uh, wait, why do you sound more confident than ever? Oh, uh, Charisma. I put some points in Charisma. I took, if anything, I put points in everything. I try to spread it out evenly to level out my character. So one attribute isn't too strong compared to the other one. <sighs> okay. And she's just making dinner. She's worried. Thinking, oh my goodness, I did not really expect this be such a big deal just remembering what the doctor said when she cuts her finger cooking is Izuku he hears a yell he's scared he's worried like are you alright did something happen him seeing the cut he's huh. here let me help oh no just uh, I think I have some band-aids somewhere in here just in case no no let me is Heal. Him completely healing her cut is... You can heal too? Yeah. Oh dear, yes. We have to keep this a secret. Oh wait, I could have also given you a healing potion. Uh, duh! Man, that's such a noob mistake. A what? Oh, uh... Noob, it's kind of like uh, something that you would call a, a new person who just joined, like a new player. Well, thank you are one. Yeah. As far as school goes, yeah, everyone's noticing a difference. Thing is, Kasuki notices it too, Think, oh, wait, now he's got some confidence now, now. Huh. Why not just uh, knock him down a peg or two? When well, she does start blowing up Izuku. Thing is, Bongo's these explosions, the ones he uses to just tease or mess with him, yeah, they, they are nothing compared to what Izuku has survived. Especially with his stats now a lot higher than what they would be before. So yeah, that doesn't really work. Izuku even does, doesn't even flinch. He doesn't even feel it. Like, why did you do that? Why aren't you scared? Uh, it didn't hurt. Everyone heard that. I was like, oh, check, oh, check out the the big brass ones on Midoriya now. 
Because, yes, even the teachers, like, uh, hmm, interesting. Because, yes, everyone knows how Bakugo is. They know how he's been teasing Yuzuku, spitting on his dreams. Everyone somewhat joins in. The teacher doesn't give a damn. So, things are, oh, so Bakugo can, just can't really bully him anymore. Okay. Oh, well. So not much has changed besides Izuku being able to take more damage. So yeah, this pisses off Bakugo. To the point where, yeah, he tries to attack Izuku. Again, no one does anything. Especially the damn teacher. Fuck him. <sighs> so, you can just imagine. Izuku, he has had a lot of combat training. Because of his, his weapons... He goes barehanded because he technically doesn't want to kill, but he will throw hands when he needs to, like a drunken bar fight and so on and so forth. So he's dodging Bakugo's attacks. He's starting to throw in some explosions in there. Izuku just gut chucks him right in the, in the sweet spot, and he goes down. Everyone is shocked to see Bago lose here because, if anything, thanks to his quirk, he was well, classified as at least the strongest, if not in the school, or at least that classroom. Then the teacher turns around, sees Bago unconscious, like, hey, 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 no fighting. This is. What did you say? I said, no fighting, Mr. Midoriya. Now go to the principals as Izuku starts walking up, carrying Bakugo by his collar, dragging him. He looks pissed. I wonder why. This is after all I've been through. So when did your old voice get deeper? I have tried to be nice. I try to be civil, but every time Bakugo would mess with me, you would turn your head, and you bastards would just let him do it. Sometimes even join in, and you two losers. Just point at the one with wings and the one with the stretchy fingers. We used to be friends. Along with Katsuki. And they know something's wrong where Izuku didn't call him Kachan. So, <laughs> him just throwing Bakugo to his friends and... So, you want me to go to the principal's office? Fine. But I'm telling him of everything that's been going on here. <clears throat> yeah. Teacher, he realizes, oh my god, my job could be on the line here. Says, wait, you, you, I, um, I, you don't have to, no. Don't worry, sir. I'll make sure to tell him exactly how things have been going on. Him just walking off. Teacher, sweating bullets. Everyone else is like, oh damn, what have we done? If only we stood up against, up against Bakugo alone. If only we haven't been such a jerk to Izuku. As soon as Izuku comes back with the principal, is anything of what he said true? Everyone denying it. Principal, a little skeptical thing, seeing how some of them are sweating, but if, unless Izuku can come up with proof, as Bakugo wakes up, and lunches at Izuku. Izuku gave him a humbleization lesson again. But this is pretty much when Bongo is really like, you think just because you sucker punched me, things are going to change. I've been bullying you for years at school, and no one saw me before, not even the teacher before Izuku, yeah. Yeah, so his dad teacher is fired, and everyone else is pretty much like, oh, yeah, you guys are suspended for two weeks at least. And you owe Midoriya here a handwritten 
apology. And so help me the better be different. Because if I find them to be the exact same, even one of them, all of you are redoing it. As for you, Bakugo Kotsky, you're going to be suspended for at least two months. Bakugo's still unconscious, so he didn't hear none of that. But as long as he does realize, it's like, damn it. Why do I have to? This, this is not how it's supposed to be. The new teacher. Nice. Wonderful woman. She's not a jerk or anything. She, if anything, if anyone starts any trouble, she is quick to reprimand them. And, and now, it is the end. Nearing the end, at least, of middle school. No one laughs at Izuku. Bakugo doesn't do his little speech bullshittery because Izuku and the teacher will not allow such a thing. Quirk usage? Forbidden! And Izuku has been... Having the time of his life, really. He still plays the game every so often, but not so much that Inko has to worry about his life. Because some gamers can... Depending on how into a game they are, and if they have anything else to do, they can go for days. Izuku, he'll go for hours, then save his game. But one time, he actually was worried, is when he accidentally did forget to save. And he did end up turning off his console. So he turned back on, see him back where he was. He has gotten done with a lot by that time. But for some reason, huh, he kept all his stats. Him thinking, I need to get a job. I need to get some more games. I need to see how far I can actually go with this. As yes, he's walking home. He's starting to wonder, okay, so uh, let's see, which game do I want? Which game would I need, possibly? Uh, should I use my gold? As yes, he uses his, his sixth sense and just pretty much dodges the sludge villain. It is no contest. In fact, he splatters the sludge villain all over the walls. And as soon as All Might shows up, he's like, whoa. Did you do this? Like, yep. As he starts to fanboy out. Not to the extent of canon, but enough so All Might's like, yeah, I got me a fan. There's a fan of mine in my midst. So, he's a go all too happy to see All Might. All Might, uh, still being the push boy for Hero Society. Yeah. He's, huh. Very, uh, very well done. He gets a sludge villain and jumps away. Izuku, he decides to use his summer vacation to test how far he can go with his quirk. Because if anything, he really wants to see what effect it might have on other games, or at least the stats he does have. <laughs> Only thing is, by halfway of the 10 months training, he notices something. He's been on the, the game for at least, let's say, 8 hours. But he's just starting to notice the NPCs are starting to look different. He's starting to notice, huh, wait, you're not supposed to be there. What are you talking about? I'm just going to get bread. Wait, wait, since when? And by this time, he starts to realize what's happening. One, a downside or a side effect of his quirk. 
the longer he stays within the game, the more realistic, the more, huh, the less of a game actually becomes. Then he goes home straight to his wife and kid. He realizes that kid's looking more and more like him. Upon this realization, he has no choice but to vacate. And that's how this part ends. Like I said, I'm going to try to start making, you know, 40 man videos now. <sighs> They may take longer to make, but man, I can't get done with a lot of content. At least, for now.